good morning to all my children today we are going to have maths class d6 and the topic that we are going to do today is international system of numeration so before we begin with international system of numeration let's have a quick recap of what we have studied till today now number system are of two types one is indian system of numeration and the other is international system of numeration we have studied in the last class indian system of numeration with indian place value system chart okay and today we are going to do international system of numeration and we will study it through international place value chart so now we are ready with our international place value system chart so i'm going to write it here international okay so this is my international place value system chart now i have made the columns here can you see the columns so my first column on the top which is divided into three parts okay this is my periods and then this this and this there are three columns okay so this is one period okay this is my one period this is my thousands and this is my millions so in international place value system chart there are three periods that is millions thousands and ones clear so there are three periods that is millions thousands and ones now further each period is divided into three places can you see so each periods are divided into three places that means they consists three places okay now one period consists of ones place tens place and hundreds place okay thousand consists of thousands place ten thousands place and hundred hundred thousands please okay and millions consists of millions please ten millions please and hundred millions okay so this is my place and my period so once again i'll repeat so in international place value system there are three periods okay that is millions thousands and ones each period consists of three places okay that is ones tens and hundreds thousands period consists of three places that is thousands ten thousands hundred thousands millions period consists of three places that is millions 10 millions and 100 millions so here my ones period consists of three places thousands period consists of three places and millions period consists of three places so each period consists of three places is that clear and most importantly 
each period each period have a comma in between so each period is separated by comma okay so ones period and thousands period there is a comma here so we place a comma so that we can separate ones period and thousands period now thousand periods and millions period there is a comma we are going to place it here that is to separate thousands period and millions period so you have to keep this in mind clear so while writing international system we separate each periods by using comma so you can see how i have separated each periods using commas here okay you have to keep that in mind so let's begin with example 1 put commas between periods in the following numbers according to the international systems okay so we have to put commas according to international system so let's begin with the solution so let's solve it okay we'll first write the number my number is okay now the most important step comes here that is we have to write the places on the top of the numbers that is very important part ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand millions ten millions so this is one of the most important part that you have to keep doing it okay you have to write places on the top now i can show you the short forms here now again i'm showing you the chart here can you see ones tens hundreds okay the short form thousand ten thousands hundred thousand and millions ten millions and hundred millions so i have written here the short forms as well okay so you can use this short form when you're writing international place value system now can again i'm showing you again i'm repeating the same thing can you see one period and thousand period separated with a comma thousand period million period separated with a comma okay the same thing we are going to do with the numbers so my ones tens and hundreds i have to separate with thousands now this is my thousand ten thousand hundred thousand this is my million ten millions so this is my millions period 10 millions and millions is my millions period so i'll put a comma here now 100000 10000 and 1000 i'll separate it and hundreds tens and ones so it becomes 57 millions 421000 Six hundred and thirty-eight. So we read it, we read it like this. So let's take example two, where again I'll write down the number. Okay, I have written down the number. So let's take example two. I have written down the number. So what I'm going to do the next? I'm going to write the places on the top which is very important so i'll write here ones tens hundred you have to write it very small okay thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million ten million okay so i have written the places on the top so that i will not make mistake now see this is my ones period this is my thousands period and this is my millions period so i'll separate it ones tens hundred i'll put a comma here because this is my ones period thousand ten thousand and hundred thousand 
I'll put a comma here and this is my millions and 10 millions. So I have placed my commas correctly. Now how I'm going to read it? I'm going to read it like 72,681,356. Clear? So let's take example 2. Write the following numbers in words in the international system. So we have to write in international system. Let's start with the solution. Okay. So again I'll repeat that we have to write places on the top of the number that you have to keep it in mind okay so let's write the place on the top so it's ones tens hundred hundreds thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million ten million so if you keep writing this so what happens you don't make a mistake and at the same time you will have it a proper revision so if you keep writing the places on the top you will not make mistake when you are writing the numbers and words so let's start it is how do we read we read it 76 millions okay then we will read it as 500 okay 522,000 clear 830 again I'll repeat how we are going to read it 76 millions 830 so let's write it is 76 millions 30 Done. It is seventy six million five hundred twenty two thousand eight hundred thirty. So let's take second example. Okay, that is the number I have written here. So I have to write the places on the top. It is ones, tens, hundred, thousand. 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million, 100 million. Done. So how I am going to read it? I am going to read it like 368 million. Okay. 368 million. 712,000, 712,459. Clear? So, how I am going to write it? I am going to write 368 million seven hundred twelve thousand four hundred fifty nine so can you see it? If you write once the places on the top, it becomes very easy to write it in words. And 
and the most important thing you will not make mistake and you are going to read it the way i am i have shown you to read it is 368 millions 712459 done it's over okay now let's take the third example okay write in figures that is 30 million 205107 and the next one is 120 million 903410 so we have to write this in figures so let's begin with the solution answer a so what we are going to write first we are going to write the places first ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million ten million hundred million so i have to keep writing this i have to keep an habit of writing this the same way when i am doing indian place value system i am going to write the places on the top and when i am doing going to write international place value system again i am going to do the same thing so whenever i am solving whichever system i have to write the places on the top okay so i have to write this in figures so again i am going to read the question first it is 30 million 30 million okay so 30 million that is in my millions period that is 30 30 million i'll put a comma then i'll read 205000 it is 205000 so 200 will come under then 5000 okay so will i write it here or will i write it here not in 10000s please i will write it in thousands please because it is 5000 okay 107 okay so one i'll write i'll put a comma here one i'll write under 100 and seven i'll write under ones my answer is not yet complete why because you can see the empty place here that is my tens and my 10000s place is empty so what will i do i will put zero and then my answer is complete now i'll take example b question number b for that also again i have to write the places on the top ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million ten million and hundred million i've written it i'm going to read the question now 120 million 120 million so 100 i'll write in 100 millions please 20 millions so it is 20 20 millions i'll put a comma here next i'll read 900 3000 900 3000 so 900 9 will be in 100 thousands place 3000 3 will be in thousands place i'll put a comma 410 410 so 4 will be in hundreds place and this is 10 okay my answer is not complete because my 10 thousands place is empty So what will I do? I will put a zero here, and my answer is complete. So two things you have to keep in mind: that is the placement of commas, and the empty spaces. You have to put zero. And whenever you are doing this kind of a sums, you have to read the question properly and then write. Clear? Thank you, class.